I'm also giving thanks to my spiritual father, Kinish Hanapakal. I am here to do your work, and I thank you for your continued energetic blessings and support. Greetings, dear soul. I am Crispy, a Gaian, Mayan, Pleiadian emissary of light. In Lakesh Alakim. I am another you. You are another me. We are one. One Godsciousness. And today I'm very excited to bring to you the information of Paramahansa Yogananda's Mayan birthday. He was born in India on January 5th, 1893, and if you put those dates in my website, you can see he is called Transcending Reincarnation. That was the ego logic mind exploding and now imploding. <laughs> Paramahansa Yogananda's Mayan birthday is transcending reincarnation. Cosmic synchronicities are embedded within the divine Mayan Zolkin calendar. Some regions call this Nawal, death, to the Maya like the Indians and all indigenous cultures, death automatically implies rebirth unless you are transcending reincarnation, which I believe is true of Yogananda. I do not believe he came back into a body. Some people may say otherwise. I know that his spirit came into his body this last time for the purpose of transcending reincarnation. How does one do that? You clear up all of your karma and you transcend your shadow ego, which means embody your shadow ego, which means embrace and love yourself completely and unconditionally. That is all. Yogananda himself would say, anyone born on my Mayan birthday can also transcend reincarnation, just as anyone born on any day of the year can also transcend reincarnation. But here we have the Mayan calendar which is Pleiadian, by the way, telling you that Yogananda's soul cartography was transcending reincarnation. So what I'm going to do is tell you his four guide positions, his core self birth tone, 13, the thirteenth tonale, two bars and three dots, meaning transcending. It also means all of these other key code words here. His nawal is kimi, meaning reincarnation. And it also means all these other words here. And what I do for my clients is I go into a altered state of consciousness, a light trance, and I put together words, I weave together sounds of meaning and create a fabric called high vibration code phrases. And I'm going to tell you the three for Paramahansa Yogananda's Transcending Reincarnation Core Self. And then I will tell you the three for Past Wisdom Guide, Divine Feminine Guide, Divine Masculine Guide, and Future Vision Guide positions using the exact same technique. I will also be giving you a few quotes of Yogananda's 
I've only read two of his many, 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 many books. And I also suggest that you watch this movie where you will learn a lot more. So here we go with three high vibe codes for his core self birthday. Eternal, unconditional love. Humble, cosmic consciousness. Psychic serenity. These, I feel, are part of his song that he came through to sing. So now, a little bit of explanation. Everyone born on tone 13 has tone 5 for their past wisdom guiding tonal influence. That is because we add 5. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everyone born on reincarnation you count back eight. Reincarnation is the sixth Nawal. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, meaning twenty, nineteen, eighteen. The eighteenth glyph is called Obsidian Mirror Knife. So Yogananda had empowering Obsidian Mirror Knife for his past wisdom guide position. By the way, all of these four positions are reflections of yourself. They are not external to you. There are people whose birthdays are on those other days, of course, and I will tell you that in this position, Francis Ford Coppola was born on that day. Interestingly enough, I always tell all my clients the shared birthdays in their core self and all other positions if there are known people with those days. Now, before I get into the high vibe code phrases for empowering obsidian mirror, obsidian knife, I'm going to give you one little quote. The spine and the brain are the altars of God. That's where the electricity of God flows down into the nervous system, into the world. And the searchlight of your senses are turned outwards. But when you will reverse the searchlights through Kriya Yoga and be concentrated in the spine, you will behold the Maker. That's what self-realization teaches. This was in 1920. He went to America and became instantly very famous, giving talks primarily in New York City area first for quite some time about four years before he moved to California in 1925 and started the Self-Realization Fellowship there, uh, forming a center there. He began the Self-Realization Fellowship in New York, but didn't have a center. It was just what he was doing, bringing Kriya Yoga meditation techniques for calming the mind and concentrating the mind that is basically what they do with the Kriya Yoga techniques. Now you may have noticed some similarities in some of his some of that quote with his Mayan birthday. And it's true. The Mayan calendar is, as I said, Pleiadian in origin before it came to Earth. However, the Pleiades were the sixth solar system that the Dzolkin was taught to. We are the seventh. 
This is truly cosmic. Wherever there is DNA with bipedal creatures with five fingers and toes, the Dzolkin is true for them as well. Now, empowering obsidian mirror knife. Here are three high vibration phrases to help illustrate the energy of that day. Core purpose of healing. Vital order of non-attachment. Impeccable inquiry. So these energies in particular would have been streaming into Yogananda in the first 13 years of his life, but all four positions are part of his core self and were always feeding him energy. But definitely the first 13 years of one's life, your foundation is partially formed by your past wisdom guide. Now, tone five comes down across the heart chakra to the left hand side, the feminine side. The right hand side is the masculine side. Tone six, and starting again at glyph or nahual, six, we count six forward, and six and six is twelve, and the twelfth glyph is traveler. Tone six, I was instructed to teach as though it were a rollabola, not with the dot on top as the traditional Maya teach it. It came to me in a vision to teach it this way, so that is what I do. Balancing Traveler for his divine feminine guiding influence of himself. Here are three high vibration phrases. Synchronistic pilgrimage. Practical self-actualization. Organic vertical path. All right. It might help you to know that Rahelio Rodriguez, Jack Kerouac, Juliette Lewis, and R. Gordon Wasson are all balancing traveler exemplars. Now, a little quote. Most important is to create a church within yourself where you are the minister in the temple of your own soul. You might recognize a feeling from Yeshua ben Yosef. They shared the same mind. Five, six, seven. Yes, you guessed it. Tone seven, starting on six. We count backwards six to twenty. The twentieth glyph is solar chief. Tone seven, reflecting solar chief, which happens to be Leonardo DiCaprio, Linda Sheely, Ken Kesey, and Barbara Marciniak. Rather high vibration group of people in this position. So again, divine feminine, divine masculine, neither of which can be activated or embodied unless they both are. Okay? Without your divine masculine, you cannot be divine feminine and vice versa. He was definitely both. Here are three high vibe phrases for this position. Enlightenment through meditation. Authentic observation. Flowering chakras. He taught North America about the chakras that are in our spine. Hmm. 
Now I would also like to point out that the chakras are included in Mayan embodiment astrology. Everyone born on tone 13 automatically has all seven chakras lit up potentially if they transcend their shadow ego. Most people never do. You cannot experience your chakras unless you do. Even just for a moment is sometimes enough. It doesn't have to be the permanent absolving of attachment to selfhood. It can be just the briefest flicker of knowing that your chakras are alive and spinning all of the time. Here's a little quote. The technique of meditation, recharging the body battery with cosmic energy, is not a creed or a dogma, but a science of the soul and spirit. How the soul descended from the cosmic consciousness into the earth and the body of the senses is the purpose of Kriya Yoga and the Self-Realization Fellowship. Six, we add eight, and that is fourteen. And the fourteenth Nahual is Jaguar Shaman, tone eight, harmonizing Jaguar Shaman. Now, as you will see, there are a lot of similarities in key code words. I could have made almost exact mirrors of other phrases we've already heard today, or certainly others that were potential. And maybe I should, but here are the three that came through for you, for him, for all of us. Healing Rituals Tranquil Mentor Infinite Meditation Now perhaps you know the story of Yogananda's exiting the body on March 7th, 1952, which again, if you take a quick look, is called Stabilizing Wise One. And the story is almost exactly 24 hours before he left the body, he told one of his closest assistants that in just a few hours, I will leave my body. And it was on uttering the last word of his speech that he fell to the ground and left his body. You can find the whole speech right here, and it's short. I suggest you do read it, but here are the last few words. God made the earth, and man made confining countries and their fancy frozen boundaries. Where Ganges, woods, Himalayan caves, and men dream God, I am hallowed. My body touched that sod. So, similar to the words of Thich Nhat Hanh, where your feet touch the earth, let each footstep be a kiss, knowing that all the earth is sacred, every human being is holy, all life is divine. In Lakesh Alakim, Namaste.